Many of you want to do cool things on your stream, right? So that you stand out more. So you go to YouTube and watch some videos from great streamers. And if that's one of you, you have probably encountered Nutty before. He is this incredible streamer who posts YouTube videos that teaches you how to add cool features on your stream. And one of the cool features that he has on his stream is his sub printer. He has a receipt printer that prints information of whoever subscribes to his channel. When I first saw this, I didn't understand what was going on. Why was there an anime girl that zooms into the middle of the screen and spits out a small piece of paper? When I found out that it was a subscriber alert, I thought it was really amazing. But I thought there was something missing. Traditionally speaking, the receipt is usually given to the person who buys a product or a service, right? But I know it would be impractical for a streamer to mail a small piece of paper to everyone that subscribes to his channel. So, with what I have learned from Nutty and other streamers, I attempted to create something that would make it possible for all the subscribers to get their own copy of their receipt. And if you watch Nutty and his videos, you have probably seen me before. But what Rexports did here was genius. He didn't want to pay for a physical printer. So what he did is he just made his own virtual printer that pretty much does the same thing as our physical printer, but it's just as an animation. I think this is super genius. What I, I am the guy who created the virtual sub printer. It's essentially the same as Nutty sub printer, but you don't need a physical printer for it to work. Everything is animated and the cool thing about it is that it automatically sends a copy of the receipt to your Discord server for your community members to see or download. Isn't that cool? Well, if you think that's cool, keep watching this video. What's up everyone? It is Rexboards. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to install that virtual sub printer. All you need to have is OBS and StreamerBot. Now, I'm going to assume that you already know how to install OBS plugins and you know how to use StreamerBot because I'm not going to cover that in this video. Also, if you're using Streamlabs, I'm so sorry, it doesn't support Streamlabs and I don't even know if it will in the future. So if you really want this, make sure that you're using OBS and StreamerBot. Also, I'm going to tell you this now, I'm so sorry, it's not for free. But I assure you that your viewers will really love this a lot because it's such a unique sub alert that you won't see it in other people's stream. So. Let's get on to it! This alert is available for sale on my coffee page. You need to pay a minimum of $10 in order to get it. You can donate more if you'd like, but you don't need to. After you pay for it, it'll take you to the download page, so go ahead and download that. Okay, after downloading it, go ahead and open the zip file. And copy or extract all the contents anywhere on your computer. I did mine on my desktop, just because I want to. Okay, after that, you're gonna copy all the contents inside this folder. Okay, that folder that is named Rexports, that goes into your streamer bot root directory. And then after that, go ahead and open this folder and install all the fonts and the plugins that are inside of it. Make sure that you got all of them. There is also a folder that is named copy and paste this anywhere except inside program files and it just contains a dummy picture that is named subreceipt.png This is important for saving the receipt and for uploading it to your Discord channel. So make sure that you copy and paste this anywhere but inside the program files. If you copy and paste it inside the program files, there might be some admin restrictions depending on your PC settings. But just to be safe, I recommend pasting it outside of the program files. That way, there's no issue with uploading the picture to your Discord channel, okay? Okay, now we're gonna install it in OBS. We're gonna go to Tools, and if you install it properly, you'll see Source Copy, and then go to Load Scene, and then go find the OBS Install folder, wherever you put it. And then after that, you'll see that there are two versions. There's a 1080p and there's a 1440p. Whichever your base resolution is, choose it. Okay, now we're gonna install all the streamer bot actions. Go to your streamer bot, then left click on import. And then you're gonna find the streamer bot install folder. Open it and then drag whatever's inside of it into the import stream text box. And then click import. Now, if you go to the actions tab, you're gonna see that there are five new actions. Okay. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to virtual printer reference fix and then right click on that trigger and then click test trigger. Now go to OBS and then it should say 5 out of 5 file references fixed. If that's not what it says, there is a problem. Okay, back to the action tab. Go to the first action and then double click on this sub action and then click on the three dots and then locate your sub receipt.png file wherever you put it. 
And after that, hit OK. And then next, we're going to double click this next sub action. And then this is where you're going to paste your webhook URL. If you don't have one yet, don't worry, I'm going to show you how to do it. Go to your Discord server. And then if you don't have a channel for your receipt yet, go ahead and create one. Okay, after that, you're going to click the gear icon, go to the integrations tab, and then on webhooks, click on create webhook, and then click on that again, and then click copy webhook URL. And you're going to paste it here. All right, and then for this one, go ahead and click that three dots again, and then locate your sub receipt.png file. And then you're going to do all of that to the other three actions. Okay, make sure that you do it for all these three actions, okay? Okay, here's the last one. Do the same thing too. Okay, moment of truth. Time to test it. Go to the first action and then go to triggers. Right click on that trigger and then click test trigger. And if you did everything correctly, the printer should pop up like this. Isn't that amazing? If this is not what happened on your end, you probably did something wrong. You need to go back in the video and make sure you're doing everything 100% accurately. Okay, now let's see if it got uploaded to Discord. Yes, it did. Okay, you should see this on your Discord channel. And now we're gonna test the other triggers. Now, do the same thing. If you did it right, that should pop up. This is for the gift bomb or for the non-anonymous gifted sub. Okay, you see that? Doesn't say anonymous user anymore. And then let's go to Discord to see if that got uploaded. And yeah, it did. It doesn't say anonymous user anymore. Okay, now let's go to the new sub one and then test trigger again. And that should pop up with a different format. This is for the new subscriber. Okay. Uploading to the Discord. And let's see. Yes, it got uploaded to our Discord channel. Amazing. Okay. Now the last one, we're gonna go to resub. Right click, test trigger again. And that should pop up again. And it should say resubscriber this time on the top. If this is not what's happening on your end, Make sure that you did everything right. And then go to our Discord channel. See? Yes, it got uploaded and it says resubscriber on top with the right information. Okay, on to the last step. Once you're done with all that, all you need to do is go to your main scene and then add the receipt animation scene. Okay, from here you can just resize or move the scene however you want. If you want the sub printer to be smaller, you can resize it. And if you want it to be on the side, yeah, just put it there like that. It's all up to you. You can test and retest it so that you can see where the printer is going. Okay, now you're all set. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if this video has been helpful for you in any way, please consider liking the video. Also, if you want more content like this, also please consider subscribing to my channel. I'm going to post more cool stuff in the future. Thank you so much. See ya. This is so awkward. I don't really know how to end a video, but whatever.